So this question says two identical rectangular prisms each have a height of 90 centimeters. So I'm going to just draw those prisms so we have some visual representation of them. The base of each prism is a square. Yep, we can see that. I'll just outline it in green. All right, so technically top and bottom here are squares. And the surface area of each prism is k centimeters squared. So SA for surface area is equal to k. And just a small note, surface area just means the area of all the surfaces, right? So the sum of the area of all of the surfaces. If the prisms are glued together along a square base, the resulting prism has a surface area of 92 over 47 times k centimeters squared. So let me just draw. So if I were to combine both prisms together, we'd have a longer prism. What else would change? So instead of a height of 90, it would become a height of 180. And the question tells us that our surface area now would be 92 over 47 times K. Okay, so what is the side length in centimeters of each square base? All right, so I don't know what the side lengths of the squares are in the first place here, but I can break down the surface area idea and see if by breaking that down, I can get some more information. So again, the surface area is the sum of the areas of every side. So how many sides do you have on a rectangular prism? Well, you have the square bases, which we're saying we don't know the side lengths there. And then you have each side of the rectangular prism, which the base is actually part of that square, so it's called x. And the question did tell us that the height is 90. We have two of these, right, being top and bottom. And we have four of these being front, back, left, and right sides of the prism. So in terms of area, the area of a square with side lengths of x would just be x squared. So my area here would be x squared. So since I have two of them, it makes it 2x squared. My area for my rectangle would be length times height, or base times height, which would be 90x. So my area for the rectangle would be 90x. But because I have four of those sides, that becomes 360x. So in essence, k is really equal to 2x squared plus 360x. That's what it actually equals in terms of you know, finding the areas of each side and adding them all together. So that's for, that's for the small rectangular prisms. For this large rectangular prism, the new prism, I have some diff a different set of things. Well, I still would have my top and bottom here. They're still going to be my squares. So I'm still going to have this 2x squared. But in terms of my rectangles now, and no longer 90, my height is now 180. So I'd have 180x for my area. But I still have four of them, right? So I'd have four times 180 which is 720. So this would become 720x. 720x. Which means that 92 over 47k is equal to 2x squared plus 720x, right? Like that's, it's, the question tells us that this is the surface area of the new prism. And our math tells us that this is the actual surface area with relationship to x being a side length of the square. Okay, so now what do we have to do? I think we just have to set, I think we just have to use this equation here. All right, so we know that k, we know what k is. So that means I could write out that 92 over 47 times 2x squared plus 360x is equal to 2x squared plus 720x, right? Like that is the statement here, replacing this k with what we know k equals. I can then simplify this. Um, let's see, 92 times 2 
is 184, so it becomes 184x squared. 92 times 360 is 33,120. So it becomes plus 33,120 x. And of course, this is still all over this 47 here is equal to 2x squared plus 720x. You can then multiply both sides by 47, leaving me with 184x squared plus 33,120x is equal to 94x squared. And then let's see, 47 times 720, 33, so plus 33, 840x. Now we just have a bunch of like terms to combine, so I'm gonna subtract 94x squared. I'm actually gonna also subtract 33, 840x from both sides. All this is gone, so I just have equals zero. This becomes 90x squared, and then 33,120 minus 33,840 is negative 720x. I can then divide everything by 90 here. Let's switch the color up. So then I'd have uh, x squared minus 8x equals zero, right? 90 goes to the 90 once into 728 times. You can then factor this to be x times x minus eight equals zero. Just pulling the x out, it's greatest common factor. That can set each of those equal to zero. So x equals zero and x minus eight equals zero. X equaling zero, of course, cannot work because you can't have a side length of zero for a square. So adding eight to both sides here, I get x equals eight. So there's my final answer.